is there a distinction between the tax treatment of an investor? So, for example, just capital gains as opposed to someone who is actively trading? And if so, what is the difference? What is the distinction under the yeah. Irish tax rules? So, so, so just let me just answer the first part there, which is how are mm-hmm. gains on crypto taxed? So tax mm-hmm. the same as gains on any asset or on any other currency, essentially, where it's a capital gains tax transaction generally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, with crypto then as well, you have, um, I suppose, secondary benefits and gains that can accrue where you're obviously swapping one for the other and all of that. And technically, like each of those is a, is, is a separate disposal potentially right. liable to tax as well. So um, just to say that first and foremost, as regards the trying to um, or, or, or trying to um, assess whether it's regarded as a investment uh, type activity or a trading type activity. Um, what we've noticed is some uh, crypto investors, they say, oh, well, I'm trading in crypto, but really they're not that they're not really trading. They're just that labeling what they're doing as a trade. And um, I suppose what the, what would be looked at in that scenario is all the historic case law and, and, and these what we call the badges of trade, um, you know, to, to, to try and determine could there be a trade there. So really, if you are trading in or if you if if you if, if you want to put the argument forward that it's a trading activity you'd really be looking at the same kind of features as a sort of stockbroker would have for a you know for a, 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 a share buying and selling activity obviously mm-hmm. if you were if you were really where the advantage out of that would accrue would only be in a company structure when obviously when the the, the rates of tax and um, the rates of personal tax are so high on um trading profits from a you know from an unincorporated enterprise so um i suppose what i would say there is we do have some reasonably good guidance on that that i would be happy to share with any of the um any of the parties that uh, that, that are on the call or who may tune in later and um, we can share with them what like what we've done up on that and what they would need to i suppose consider if they did want to put forward a case for trading and obviously it would really be through mm-hmm. a, a corporate structure Mm. So potentially uh, profits on trading may be uh, treated in a, a tax advantage manner versus unincorporated investment income. So, well, it, it would if you were unincorporated, it would actually be worse uh, the profit okay. because you would be paying tax at marginal rates could be fifty odd yeah. percent, whereas the CGT rate right. is thirty three percent. I think what they might be thinking there of is if, yeah. if you had in a company situation and the company mm-hmm. was actively carrying on the trade and trying to get the mm-hmm. 12 and a half trading activity on the profit. But as I say, it, it, right. it's quite difficult to achieve that if you're a, a small scale sort of private operator doing it out mm-hmm. of your doing it out of your bedroom. But we can share right. the, 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 s- s- some reasonably good guidance we have on that sure. um, for anybody that wants yeah. it. Yeah. Right. And that'll be around what you mentioned earlier, the badges of trade, which is uh, derived from rich history of case law, which determines exactly. whether it's investment yeah. income or trading income. Gotcha. Yeah. So these badges of trade, guys, are yeah. a, a, a a number of factors that they look yeah. that, that, that you consider to determine, mm-hmm. uh, you know, whether a trade could exist. And some of them are like, well, what was your actual motive? Like, is it speculative or, you know, on the extent to which the, mm-hmm. the activity is resource like as well? Like, have you got people mm-hmm. assisting you? And I suppose mm-hmm. how professional, how professional yeah. are you? How frequent are you transacting? So these are the factors that uh, that indicate uh, one way or the other. Okay, wonderful. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.